Yeah, I'm here with Jimmy Jones, who had a roller coaster of a day. Ended up in 23rd. Tell us, Jimmy, are you happy with today's performance? Yeah, the SpaghettiOs Huntington Pizza Chevy is pretty good today. Um, I did get caught speeding there a couple times on pit road. But, uh, you know, the track's starting to come to us there. I just feel like we were just a couple adjustments away having a top 10 car. Um, couldn't be more proud of my guys today. They did one heck of a job there on pit road. You guys ran well today, but you did have some miscues on pit road. Can you tell us a little more about that? Yeah, like I said earlier, I got caught speeding there on pit road uh, a couple times. You know, that's on me. But um, we did have one uh, bad pit stop there. They forgot to put one of the tires on. So I was running around there on three tires. We had to come back in on the green. You know, that that hurt us there pretty good. But, uh, you know, all in all, not a bad day. I um, think I'm going to crack open the ice cold RC Cola and just... Enjoy the, enjoy the rest of the afternoon and uh, look forward to Richmond. We always run real well in Richmond. Right. Jimmy Jones has been checked and released from the Enfield Care Center after a lap 30 incident with Kurt Busch. Tell us, Jimmy, what happened there? Yeah, Kurt Busch just straight up wrecked us. I mean, he's out there racing like it's the last lap. I mean, this guy's a moron. Well, Kurt said he was trying to put you a lap down. He went on your inside and you didn't give him any room. I have the monitor here if you want to take a look. I don't need to see it. I know what happened. We were fighting to stay on the lead lap there. Kurt come underneath us and just dumped us. I mean, I feel real bad for the team. I mean, the uh, Tampax Chevy was doing real good today. Uh, we just we just need a couple more adjustments there on pit road. Felt like we had a really good car. I, I felt like we had the car to beat today and now we're all tore up thanks to Kurt Busch. Is there any chance you guys can get this thing put back together and get back out on track for some points? Yeah, I don't know if we can or not. The entire Tampax team's back here in the garage and trying to get this car put back together. I mean, they're all irritable right now. I mean, it's been an emotional day for all of us. We're just looking ahead to Homestead. Um, we usually run pretty good there at Homestead. i tell you one thing, Kurt Bush better look out for us because we're coming for him. I'm here with Jimmy Jones, who brought the number 29 car home third today. He had to move a few people out of his way, including Brad Keselowski. Can you tell us what happened? Yeah, i tell you what, I couldn't be more proud of our guys today. They had that slip and slide jelly for his and her Camaro riding on rails today. We was real fast. The guys did a heck of a job on pit road. I mean, this car was fast from when we unloaded this weekend. I knew we was going to be a contender. So have you had a conversation with Brad at all? He says you intentionally wrecked him. Oh, hell, that's just racing. I mean, we got loose there. We got underneath him. Uh, we put him up in the wall. I mean, I hate it for his guys, you know, but uh, uh, I got more important things to worry about than Brad Kikowski. Um Again, I mean, he, he's a big girl. You know, he can handle it. Um, it's just a racing incident. You're going you're gonna to have these things. Um, I'm, I'm just so proud of our guys. We had one heck of a car today. Uh, the Chevy was real fast. Um, I'm, we're just going to sit back and enjoy an IBC root beer and celebrate this top five finish today. And we're looking forward to next week. That's Jimmy Jones getting his first top five of the season.